In this video, we are going to solve a problem which appear in J Advanced 2023. In this problem, we have to match one column that means least to one, so the values of the least two. So here we have a complex equation and we need to find the respective values. That's the problem. Let's go ahead and solve it. Okay, so first we go ahead and uh, consider the given complex equation, right? That mod z cube plus 2z square and that 4 into complex conjugate of z minus 8 equal to 0. Now, we'll take the conjugate of both sides. So, what happened then? As mod z is a real number, so conjugate doesn't uh, apply on it. So, it becomes the same thing. If I apply on the conjugate on z square, it will become z bar square. And if I take conjugate on the next term, that is z bar, it became 4z. And again, the constant term, that will remain unchanged. Now, we subtract both. See that? If I subtract both, it will be 2 into z, minus z square minus z bar square for plus 4 into z bar minus z and that's equal to 0. So, therefore, just rearranging that basic arithmetic calculation, we get that z square minus z bar square is equal to 4 into z minus z bar. Now, if we factorize it and cancel out the 2 and also z minus z bar from both sides, we can simplify that relation. But can I cancel z minus z bar because if z and z bar equal to 0 then we cannot cancel that but here notice that it is given that imaginary part of z is non-zero so what is the imaginary part of z we know that for any complex number z minus z bar is equal to 2i time imaginary part of z so therefore as imaginary part of z is non-zero z minus z bar will be non-zero and hence we can easily cancel out the factor z minus z bar from both sides of the last equation and it will be simplified as z plus z bar is equal to 2. We also notice for any complex number z plus z bar is equal to 2 part of real z. So therefore we get 2 real z is 2 and hence real part of the complex number z will be 1. And hence the complex number z can be assumed as 1 plus i k where k is the real number. So now we only need to find out the values of k before going ahead to take a decision that which of uh, which list a and list b we need when we need to match. So before proceeding we need to calculate the value of k. Let's go ahead. So now we calculate z. So therefore that mod z will be equal to square root of 1 plus k square which I assumed it as r. z bar is equal to 1 minus i k and z square you can directly calculate it by 1 plus i k whole square by expanding with a plus b whole square formula it will be 1 plus i square k square plus 2 i k i square will be minus 1 so therefore it will be 1 minus k square and 2 i k. Let's substitute everything in the given complex equation. So therefore, we get that beautiful equations. Now notice, if I multiply that 2 and 4 in the respective places and rewrite, we can easily say that that 4ik term will be cancelled out and the given complex equation will become in a very simple form r cube minus 2k square minus 2 equal to 0 and hence r cube will be 2k 2 of k square plus 1. Now observe that. We know what is r cube that is 1 plus k square whole to the power 3 by 2 is equal to 2 times k square plus 1. Again observe that k square plus 1 for real k cannot be equal to 0 because it is always greater than 0. So if we cancelled out that part from both sides it gives 1 plus k square whole to the power half is equal to 2. Squaring both sides, 1 plus k square equal to 4 and k square is equal to 3, which implies k is equal to plus minus root 3. So therefore, we obtained our complex number as z is equal to 1 plus minus root 3. So after obtaining the z, we can easily obtain all other uh, things, important quantity we need to find, mod z squared, z minus z bar square and so on and so forth. So here we consider 
quite as obvious that z equal to 1 plus i root 3 and z bar is equal to 1 minus i root 3. We can take that in a reverse form as well. There are no problem. Now here, mod z square. Mod j square will be 1 plus root 3 square, which gives me that j square equal to 4. So therefore, for p and b are connected or they are equivalent. Next, calculate z minus z bar square. So, z minus z bar square will be 2 times i times of the imaginary part of z or if we calculate z minus z bar will be 2i root 3 mod square which obviously 0 square plus 2 root 3 whole square which gives me obviously 12. If I calculate mod z square plus z plus z bar square again using the z and z bar values we can easily calculate mod j square equal to 4 we already obtained it and z plus z bar is 2 real part of z that's why 2 or if i add them together we get 2 hence it will be 4 plus 4 and that's 8 so therefore for our option right it will be equal to c so it's already the same let's go ahead and find out the last one that j plus 1 whole square which is obviously mod of 2 plus i root 3 whole square using the more uh, definition of absolute value we can say that it will be 4 to 2 are 4 plus 3 7 so that's why j plus 1 whole square is equal to 7 so therefore we easily write down that p is equivalent to p and Q is equivalent to A, R is equivalent to C only, and S is E. And that's it. So this is the answer. Hope you understood the problem. So if you are at this point, so obviously you listen this video properly and obviously you learn something. So stay with us and keep learning. Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel to see more and more of your PYQs videos and all other stuff which will be coming on the pipeline. Thank you.